stop doing these five things in your 20s if you want a more successful and fulfilling life. I just turned 30 this year and I'm pretty successful by conventional standards. As I reflect on my 20s, here are the five things that I wish I stopped doing a bit earlier. And number five might surprise you. Number one, stop people pleasing. You should always prioritize your well being and personal growth. Some people are going to get angry at you when this becomes inconvenient for them, and that's okay. Number two, stop chasing shiny objects. Success is often the result of consistent action over time and not intensity. Therefore, pick something and stick to it and stop quitting every 12 to 24 months. Number three, stop forcing low quality friendships and relationships. Friendships or relationships, if it feels forced, it's not meant to be, and it won't add value to your life in the long run. When it comes to these things, always pick quality over quantity. Number four, never spend over 80% of what you make. This is the only way to get out of the paycheck to paycheck cycle and build meaningful wealth. Number five, stop holding grudges. The great Nelson Mandela once said, holding grudges is like drinking poison and hoping that it kills your enemies. Instead of holding grudges, you can use that energy to focus on yourself and learn a useful skill. And you'll find yourself in a much better place a couple years from now. Now, with that being said, let's deep dive into each advice a little bit further. Advice number one, stop people pleasing. In your 20s, all your decisions should prioritize your personal well-being and growth. At a personal level, not people pleasing could be as easy as not going to a party that your friend group wants to go to when you feel like staying in and watching a movie. At work, this could mean not taking on new projects when you're already running at full capacity, even though it might disappoint a couple of people. In my early 20s, I never really said no at work even though I had my hands full and was running at 120%. This quickly led to burnout and a lot of misery. If I could do it all over again, I'd start setting healthy boundaries at work very early on. Advice number two, stop chasing shiny objects. Your 20s is the stage in your life where you're trying to figure things out and getting to a career path that's going to take care of you and your future family. Here's what I would tell my younger self. Stop changing your path every 12 to 24 months. Pick something and stick to it. Success is often a result of consistent action over time, and chasing shiny objects is the arch nemesis of success. In order to make the road to success easier for you, you need to find something that you're good at, the market will pay you for, and something that you enjoy doing. The intersection of these three things is where you're going to find the most success. A person who loves to walk will walk further than the person who loves the destination. In your pursuit of something, if you absolutely hate every minute of it and you just want to get to the destination, this is a pretty good sign that you're on the wrong path. Advice number three, stop chasing low quality friendships and relationships. Good friendships and relationships that bring value to your life should feel very natural and organic. If you feel like you need to initiate plans or text first all the time, you need to move on. Your friends should be your sounding board, people that call you out on your BS and hold you accountable. Your significant other should be your best friend, someone that you can talk to about anything and spend a lot of time with. When I was in my early 20s, I was big on making as many friends as possible, but over time, I've become very selective about who I give energy to and who I want to spend time with. Now, I can come at close friends with two hands. I have two friends criteria that might come in handy for you. Number one, does this person actually care about my well-being or are they just there for the party and a good time? Number two, does this person actually want to see me win or are they going to get salty and try to sabotage me when they think I'm doing better than them in life? Advice number four, stop spending more than 80% of what you make. There's a data point out there saying that 63% of Americans can't cover a $500 emergency from their savings. That's just mind boggling to me. This is such a stressful way to live. In my opinion, that's a situation that you want to get out of ASAP by getting a high income skill that employers will pay you a lot of money for. My personal path 
was getting into data analytics and becoming really darn good at what I do. After that, my financial life has been fairly abundant. If you have a decent job making six figures a year, you should not be living paycheck to paycheck. You need to start scrutinizing where you're spending money and try to live on 80% of what you make. Currently, I have an automated system where 10% of every paycheck goes to a retirement account, like a 401k or a Roth IRA, and another 10% automatically goes to a high yield savings account. Having a system like this makes it a lot easier for me to save and forces me to not spend money on stuff that I don't need. The rule of thumb is having six months of living expenses saved up. After that, you can definitely treat yourself a little bit and splurge from time to time. I will leave you with this. Money is a resource. It can make your life a lot easier. So spend it wisely and don't squander it. Advice number five, stop holding grudges. Let's be real, bad things happen. A college professor can give you a bad grade because he or she doesn't like you. A coworker can take credit for your work and a manager can throw you under the bus. The list can go on and on. While you should learn from these experiences and try to protect yourself in the future, holding grudges is like drinking poison and hoping it kills the other person. In my early 20s, I used to get really upset when something unfair happens to me. I will be angry for days and sometimes weeks even. But now that I'm 30 and I look back at all the times that I got screwed over, they were just so trivial. And then I look at the people that run me in one way or another. None of them are more successful than I am. Another really successful creator slash businessman, Alex Hermosi, said this, which I'll read to you right now. Success is the only revenge. As you expand, they shrink into irrelevance. As you get louder, no one can hear them. You don't beat them. You cast a shadow so big, no one can see them. Now, you might not 100% agree with the message, but the action that it suggests is spot on. Don't waste your energy trying to get back at the people that did you dirty. Instead, focusing on learning new skills and improving yourself. If you start doing this in your early 20s, you will find yourself in a very good place later on in life. I started doing this later than I would like to admit, and I really, really wish I started earlier. That's it. These are the five things that I wish I stopped doing earlier in my 20s for a more fulfilled and successful life. I talk about my career, self-development, personal finance, and anything else that's interesting slash important to me. So if you found this video valuable, and want more like this, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out when I drop another video.